everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. Ding! Today's recipe is comfort food, perfect for a chilly evening. I'm in LA now, but it does still actually get kind of cold, like it's been in the 40s at night, which to me that's, that's cold. I know it's like way colder in other places, but you know, anyway, this is a cozy recipe. It's also very easy and great if you're saving money. It's a frugal recipe. I'm gonna show you how I make crock pot chicken and dumplings slash pot pie hybrid. Let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna put on my apron because I don't wanna get any chickens on this dress. Watch. I should probably wash this. I'm having trouble tying this today. There are a couple ways to do this. Like if you Google crock pot chicken and dumplings, you'll find a bunch of different variations. Mine that I'm gonna show you is my own take on it. So you don't have to do it exactly the way I do it. For instance, I already have cooked my chicken and shredded it up. You could cook your chicken in the crock pot with all the juices and then shred it before you add in the dumpling. I wanted to go ahead and cook it so I didn't have to wait as long because if you're cooking the chicken, it takes like six hours or something. So anyways, I've got my apron on. I'm gonna set my crock pot to high and I'm gonna spray it too. And I'm gonna add in my soups first. You don't have to use the exact same soups I'm using. Pretty much every recipe though did say cream of chicken soup. So I'm just gonna use these two, which is cream of chicken and mushroom. I like cream of mushroom soup, so if it's like a hybrid, I'm like, yeah. I'm also gonna use probably about half a can of chicken broth. I probably use, use half of this for some liquidization. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump my soups into my crock pot. Oh, can two. It smells okay. And now I'm gonna add in this broth. <coughs> Sorry. I am gonna do the whole can. I'm actually gonna add a third can because this doesn't look like as much liquid as I think it should. And this is a recipe you can just kind of just figure out as you go. There's no real like right or wrong. This is gonna be like a hybrid of chicken and dumplings and chicken pot pie. The reason I say that is because chicken and dumplings is just chicken and dumplings with like the soupy stuff. I'm gonna have vegetables so I have like a one pot meal. So I don't have to add, cook something else on the side to go with it. Before I add in my vegetables, I'm gonna dump in my shredded chicken. Ooh, chicken. I do love chicken. This is three boneless skinless chicken breasts shredded up. And here are my cut up mushrooms that I had left over. These are actually fresh. They look a little brown, but I think it's okay. I mean, they're going in some goopy stuff, so it's fine. It's fine. Mushrooms. Last but not least, frozen veggies. And do you know what I'm really excited about? That right there. Can you see that? That is a piece of okra. I love okra. Coming from the south, like okra is my jam. I like fried okra, okra and tomatoes, stewed okra, okra in my vegetable soup. I'm gonna choose my scissors. This is probably a little over two cups worth of vegetables. Maybe right around that. Now I'm gonna give it a really good stir so it's all in the goop. This will do. I'm gonna stir my vegetables and chicken in my cream of mushroom soup burner. Nah, 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 nah. Did you enjoy that? I know I did. Mm. I honestly, now that I've done this, uh, would prefer to have more chicken broth. I do not have any, so I might just add a little bit of water. If you have any cooking sherry, you could put a little bit of that as well. That gives it a good flavor. So I'm probably gonna do a little bit of that, a little water cooking sherry, just so there's more liquid to it. As it cooks, it'll probably get more liquidy once it's heat it up, you know, because right now it's still real thick. Let me just show you. Oh my God, I'm in my kitchen. What? Okay, here's what it looks like right now. That's real thick. So like I said, I'm gonna add in a little bit of water and cooking sherry. I'm just gonna get out uh, this little measuring cup, get some water. That's about a half a cup. I do have some cooking sherry, a little bit left, so I'm gonna add in some of this. 
pop that lid on and now you wait. I'm going to wait two to three hours. I'm gonna let it heat through till it's hot, all the way through. And at that point is when we're gonna add in the dumplings. I'll see you in two to three hours for the dumplings, carbs. We're back. My chicken and veggies in sauce mix has been cooking for three or four hours. I lost track. But it's close enough time to where I can add in the dumplings, which are actually biscuits that I'm going to cut up into little squares. So I'm going to get those biscuits out the fridge. Dun, dun, dun. We meet again. I will open it by myself this time. I do not need a man to open my biscuit can. Let's do this. This is the easy way to make dumb dumplings, is to use biscuit dough. If you don't have canned biscuit dough, just make some yourself and roll it in little balls and drop that in. This just makes it easier. I hate these cans. Last time I used one, I had trouble. I'm peeling where it said. Oh. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. It did it right away. So what you want to do with your biscuits to make dumplings is to cut them up in a little um, strips or little cubes, whatever you want. Get a plate. Take out one of your biscuits. You want to squish it flatter than that. So I'm going to squish it with my hand. And then I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to use this cute little knife. So I cut it. Can you see? I cut it three times across and once through the middle. So I have little pieces like this. So you wanna do that to all your biscuits and drop them in your pot of chicken veggie mixture stuff and stir them so they're all down in there. So I'm gonna cut up the rest of my biscuits now. Yeah, I squish it like this. These are buttermilk biscuits. It does not have to be buttermilk biscuits. Just use whatever you got. Like I said, you can make your own biscuit dough or actual dumplings. These are just faux dumplings. So here's here's my cut up biscuits. I'm now going to go dump them into the crock pot. This isn't all of them. Obviously I just ran out of room to cut, so I'm gonna dump these in. It's about half. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Yeah. And I'm just kinda like boop. Just dump them all in. I'm trying to make sure that I'm separating them. That's why I didn't just tip the plate over. Boop. Oh ow! Flash! Don't throw them from a distance. Carefully place your biscuit dumplings into the pot. So that was about half the can. I'm probably gonna do maybe one more biscuit. I bought, do you see this? It says big biscuits. Normally I would get just the regular size biscuits. So I think that's why I don't need the whole tube of them. So I'll probably do like one more and be, be all set. Carefully stir them in. Put the lid back on and wait a little longer. I think it said 30 minutes to an hour to make sure the dough is cooked all the way through. But I'll see you when it's done and we'll taste of it. And Adam will be here by then so I'm gonna make him eat it too. Boom! That's how we do with our dumplings. That's how we do with our dumplings. And we're back. And the dumplings have finished cooking and Adam is home and he's gonna taste of them. And I'm scratching my butt but you can't see it. <laughs> so ladylike. Oh. I tested my dumplings. This is, this is what you can do to know if they're done. Scoop one out, cut it in half, look at the middle of it. If it's still like goopy and gummy, then it's not done. The outside is gonna be gooey because it's absorbed the liquidy, soupy stuff. But the inside will look more cooked. Mine had been cooking for about an hour. Perfect for tasting, right? Look at that cute little bowl. Make sure you give it a good stir. I have also turned off my crock pot. If you are gonna be serving it, or maybe going back for seconds, put it on low or warm. No, put it on warm. I went on and turned mine off, cause I'm gonna take this over to Josh's house and we're gonna eat Dump them together and have a puppy party with all our puppy dogs. Oh, to taste, you need a fork. Or no, actually a spoon would be better. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna eat the okra piece, okay? You talking to me? Nope. Mmm, chocolate. Now warm you up on a cold night. 
Do you want a taste of it? You gotta blow on it because it's hot. I'm gonna create a perfect bite. Heart dumpling, heart mm. shroom, heart chicken, and there's tiny carrot. Teamwork. Do you like it? That's like, that's awful. Be good. Stanker. That's real good love. So there you have it. That's how I made chicken and dumplings today. Let me know in the underpants below if you made it. And hey, did you add veggies or did you stick to purely chicken and dumplings? I like to call mine chicken and dumplings Popeye hybrid. No. <laughs> also, for next week, I would love to try one of y'all's recipes. Either give me a specific recipe in the underpants or tell me like, if you don't have the f everything, all the details, that's okay. If you just want me to make like, I don't know, pizza or a biscuit or I don't know. Or if you have a specific recipe, put that down there. I'm gonna pick one of y'all's uh, recipes for next Saturday's video and obviously let everybody know where I got the idea from. So. Hey, I want to try something new. Put your favorite recipe in the underpants below and I'll try it next week. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!